Christmas of 1940, there was a tennis racket under the Christmas tree, and I immediately went out. I played every day for about three or four weeks and wore it out and uh, picked it up very quickly. I won my first tournament within about six months, and I've been playing ever since. I think the secret to playing as you get older and to continue to play well is, is a true love for the, for the game of tennis. As a player, as a spectator, uh, as a, a knowledge behind the game, I think this is what allows us to continue to play as well as we did uh, for so long. We really do enjoy playing the game. The work in the earlier years, our first years really have been based on tennis, but using tennis as a vehicle to teach goal setting, to teach strategic planning, analyzing. But as we see it and what we're doing now and building forward, we see really a lot of development going towards the educational components of character values. Uh, nutritional programs we're putting together. All the areas basically we're trying to go into are non-traditional tennis areas, which communities that don't have all of the ability to go to a private club. Hi, my name is Marilyn and I've been playing tennis more than five years in the Poncho Foundation, and I really love it a lot. Tennis is actually a great exercise to stay focused and try harder. They teach me how to be respectful, work with others, and to be a good sport. Through tennis, I've learned how to follow rules, but still have fun. Poncho, and a lot of us know probably his accomplishments as a world champion. But his childhood, he was really first generation of immigrants, inner city child that had a lot to face, half a step ahead of poverty. He had a lot of walls he had to face. And in a sport also such as tennis, which was basically classified as a high society sport, here was this boy from the other side of the tracks that uh, really had very little chance of doing anything with it. He never had a formal tennis lesson. He went out and learned on his own. Um, he had a lot of passion, a lot of desire, and his dedication to sacrifice, to give up some things, to be better, to learn more. And Poncho was really good about that. And when we put this together, we really tried to understand how can we educate these children, educate them about life, life skills. To do your best is what Poncho really was about. I asked him one time, he said, I never thought about being a world champion or number one. I just knew I fell in love with the game and I wanted to be the best at what I loved. <laughs>